The 4th of July is just a few days away now. Before you make any plans to shoot off your own fireworks, police and neighborhood associations want to make sure you know there are consequences if things get out of control. Alex Love joins us live from a fireworks stand in Rochester with a warning from law enforcement. Hi, Alex. Yes, Teresa, it's important to first note that firework stands like these are not part of the issue because all they sell are ground-based fireworks, which are legal in New York. However, if you plan to travel out of state to get air fireworks to bring back to your own community, authorities want you to know that you could be putting your entire block's holiday weekend at risk. Come at this 4th of July holiday with dread and with excitement. As a longtime resident of the 19th Ward and president of the Community Association, Karen Emerson only recently noticed 4th of July celebrations getting more dangerous since COVID canceled city-sponsored celebrations the past two summers, prompting people to bring more illegal fireworks into their own neighborhoods. My hopes that would be that people uh, enjoy the fireworks that the city is going to display and uh, enjoy the fireworks in multiple uh, communities around the area and not bring them into our neighborhoods. Although shooting off air fireworks is not punishable by long-term prison sentences, Rochester police still plan to be on the lookout for their usage being done with reckless behavior, and you suffer the consequences. A violation of law is punishable by a fine and up to 15 days in jail uh, for possessing these fireworks that aren't legal in New York State. So think about it before you go acting them. It's a significant fine that come along with it or jail time. The 19th War Community Association and others have plans over the next few days to network with law enforcement and their neighborhood watch volunteers to crack down on any out of control firework celebration, reporting any reckless usage that leads to fires or someone injured. Neighbors walking the street with communication to our local um, police officers. So, and we meet with, as I said, we meet with them once a month just to keep. Um, everybody aware of what's what's going on in the neighborhood. I was at a scene I think last year, or the year before, in which case uh, a mortar had gone off in somebody's hand and, and it destroyed mo most of their hand that was left. And the officers and myself applied a tourniquet to go along with that. Other explosives like firecrackers, chasers, skyrockets, and Roman candles are also illegal under New York State law. For an in-depth look on the safety for ground-based fireworks, we have a link to that on, over on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Live in Henrietta, Alex Love, News 8. Thank you, Alex. And we also want to note that the city's noise violations from fireworks or loud music take effect at 10 p.m.